guns, guns, more guns, and oh yeah, machine guns. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what it's like at SHOT Show Media Day at the range. What's up everyone, welcome Squad Squad and welcome back to Slob Guns and our coverage of SHOT Show 2020 right here at Media Day. We're at the Bosberg booth waiting in line to check out the newest guns which is the M2C and my buddy Nick here is really in love with the shotguns and we're looking at checking out the M40JM. And who the hell is JM? Jerry Mitchell. We're looking forward to it. I get Ruger to send me a couple of these twenty twos. One of my favorite reasons to go out to Las Vegas for the annual National Shooting Sports Foundation SHOT Show is the day prior to the start of the show, the Media Day at the Range. Media Day at the Range is an invite-only event split into two sessions. The morning session, which is only for invited media members and crew, and the afternoon, which is open for both the invited media and invited buyers, such as large distributors and retailers. Located at the fantastic Boulder City Gun Club, Media Day at the Range is home to over 100 exhibiting vendors and allows the shooting community the opportunity to shoot the recently launched and just announced firearms. While looking and handling the new guns at the booth is fun, it's even better to be able to shoot them at the range. This is especially appealing to smaller media groups and buyers in particular, as they'll generally not have pre-production or early samples to test for themselves. So, come spend some time with me and the Slav Guns crew at the SHOT Show Media Day 2020. The first thing you're going to notice is the large amount of people that come out annually. While the SHOT Show is attended by over 60,000 people annually, Media Day at the Range also attracts many people. As per the NSSF, over 1,600 people attend the Day at the Range. While many people do rent and drive their vehicles out to the Range, I believe the majority of people ended up using the free shuttles provided by the show organizers that run from the Las Vegas Strip out here to the Range in Boulder City. Since I like stopping at Starbucks and visiting the Hoover Dam, I generally rent a car and drive out here. This also opens up your options for where you want to stay for your visit. While this year the strip hotels have been relatively reasonably priced, in prior years it was not unheard of to pay over $200 a night plus fees for a mediocre room at a casino resort. When you get here, you register and you get your media badge. You then walk in and you instantly hear plenty of gunfire. Mostly semi-automatic, the fairly frequent full auto burst, and if you're lucky, something like a buzzsaw, which just happens to be a Dillon mini machine gun. Unfortunately, it's not here this year, or at least we couldn't find it. In a word, it's the smell of freedom and fun. Inside the shooting area, you'll find that the range is separated into a number of sections. Closer to the entrance, you'll find a good amount of smaller booths. These are exhibiting vendors who do not have any firearms to exhibit. These would be exhibitors such as non-for-profit organizations and companies that sell accessories, be it shooting aids, hearing protection, 
optics, accessories, and even beef jerky. Towards the front in the individual shooting bays and the common firing line, you're going to find plenty of companies who have paid for a table to have the ability to shoot and showcase their firearms at the show. The shooting bays are split into a number of areas including shotgun fields over there, pistol bays, and rifle bays ranging from 500 to over 600 yards or more. You will obviously find firearms manufacturers here, everyone from large companies like Ruger, Glock, Sig, um, Springfield Armory, and you're also going to find smaller startup manufacturers such as Lugo Arms. You'll also find more than firearms manufacturers here and you'll also find optics companies, ammunition manufacturers, and a good amount of suppressors. So let's go explore. I usually start at one end and will work my way to the other side. Today I have a list of companies I want to meet with, so we'll be doing that. One thing that you'll notice is that while you have many firearms companies here, you also have many notable names missing. This year, we do not have companies such as CZ, Smith & Wesson, and a few others. One reason for this is that companies such as SIG will do their own events at ranges nearby. The other reason, as I'm told by a firearms marketing agency, is that it has to do with this. The horrible shooting environment and potentially having your guns malfunction in important people's hands. Some years, it's worse than others. While last year was fairly warm, it was still quite windy. A year or two before that, it was both extremely cold and windy. So bad that after coming out to media day, I wanted to leave after just 30 minutes. Today, the weather is beautiful. For many manufacturers, and in particular smaller ones, this is a pretty big gamble, and I've seen plenty of first-time manufacturers display their firearms at Media Day only to never launch the product or launch it and then have it end up being a commercial failure. As a gun guy, and in particular as a media guy who wants to give you the facts, I actually like the shooting environment as it will very much give you a realistic picture of the firearms reliability and any potential weak points. Did the gun survive Media Day? Did it survive Media Day at the range without failures? If so, you likely will never have issues with it. Did it have stoppages here? If so, you need to examine why. Is it merely a very tight precision fit between parts? Or is it indicative or bad product design? And oftentimes we do have to keep in mind that there are some companies out here who are displaying firearms that are still in prototype stages that it wouldn't be right to hold the gun accountable for that. What makes this year special for me is that I'm attending SHOT Show Media Day at the range as Slav Guns. We have a number of companies here with whom we have worked with so far in order to bring firearms and accessories reviews. And there are also two companies here that featured either on Slav Guns or our vendors on an affiliate firearms community. Even though it's not 100 degrees out and in the middle of summertime, we have to remember that it's still the middle of the desert and us Easterners need to stay hydrated. At Media Day, you'll find plenty of water around and you have good food trucks to get some lunch and cover tents where you can sit down, eat, relax, relax with your buddies or get some work done. The reason I start on the right side of the range and work my way left is that towards the end, you're gonna end up at the very happy place, the machine guns. Here, you'll find the Media Day staples such as Battle Arms Development, Fight Light, and others. So, there you go, your first Media Day at the range. Hopefully, this gave you an insight of what it's like to visit here, and maybe one day, you can be here too. As always, thank you for watching the first official Slav Guns video of SHOT Show 2020. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date and be alerted as soon as the next SHOT Show video goes live. So this is the arm. Wow.